Hi, my name is Osama and I'm the virtual meeting specialist at Condo Control. Thank you for choosing Condo Control to host your virtual meeting. In this video, we will discuss the most frequently asked questions when it comes to hosting a virtual meeting using our platform. Here is a brief overview of the questions we will cover in this video. How do owners join the meeting? In order to join the meeting, owners will need to use the link which was emailed to them in multiple reminders leading up to the meeting. Emails will also be sent 24 hours and two hours prior to the start of the meeting so owners don't have to worry about digging through their inbox to find the link. It is very important not to share this link with anyone else as each link is specific to that unit and owner. Once they click the link, they will be taken to a landing page. The agenda for the AGM will be displayed and owners will be able to cast their electronic vote using the Vote Now button. They will also be able to join the meeting through this link when it becomes active 30 minutes prior to the start of the meeting. How do you ensure no double voting happens? In order to achieve this, condo control only allows one vote per unit. In the case of multiple owners in a single unit, any one of the owners can vote and the system will only tally one vote. Once one of the owners submits a vote, the other owner will be displayed a message that a vote has already been cast. By joining the meeting with their specific link, the system will authenticate who they are and display their name and unit number during the meeting. Can owners update their vote on or before the meeting? Yes, owners have the ability to change their vote at any point leading up to the meeting, as well as during the live meeting, which will update their previously entered vote. In the case of multiple owners within a unit, only the user who submitted the original vote can update it. How and when do panelists and head table join the meeting? They would receive a Zoom meeting invitation by email, which they will use to join the meeting. This link should only be shared with the panelists, head table, and any lawyers, auditors, and note takers. Do not share this link with any of the owners as they will not be able to cast a vote through this link. For board members that are panelists and want to vote, they'll have to use the owner process to cast a vote. The condo control moderator will open up the meeting 30 minutes prior to the start of the meeting. Panelists can begin to join the meeting at this time. 15 minutes prior to the meeting, owners will be let in from the waiting room and we will display a welcome slide along with some music. What if I had paper proxies? You can upload paper proxies to Condo Control through the administrative tab of the AGM. If you need assistance with this, you can reach out to your customer success manager. How do I know if I have quorum? Condo Control will add, will add the number of submitted proxies and owners attending the meeting without duplicating them. We will share these numbers with the chairperson just as the meeting begins. What if candidates are nominated on the floor? Condo Control has the capability to add new answers for pre-existing questions. This allows us to add new candidates before the question is sent to owners during the meeting. How will owners get to speak at the meeting? All owners who enter the meeting will be automatically muted and can only be unmuted by the moderator. If an owner would like to speak, they would need to use the raised hand button at which point the moderator will unmute them and they may address the floor. What if an owner has audio trouble? Owners will need to click the join audio button on the bottom left part of their window. For owners who continue to have audio issues, the moderator will share dial-in information so they can join via phone to listen in and ask questions, but will be unable to vote. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions or require further clarification, please reach out to your customer success manager.